This video is going to be a very short tutorial on how to check what graphics card or cards you have in your PC from within Windows operating system. I will basically talk about three very simple methods. The first method I will talk about is using device manager. The second method is using the task manager and the third is using a free third party utility called GPUZ. All of these methods have their merits and demerits which I will explain as I go. If you want the most details regarding your graphics cards, then I would recommend the third method which is to use the free utility GPUZ. Anyhow, without further ado, let's get started. So the first method to check what graphics card you have is through device manager. The pros about this method is that it is easy and straightforward and this method can be used to highlight if there are any driver issues with any of your graphics card as well. Device manager can be accessed in several ways. You can search for device manager in the windows search bar like so you can also right click on the windows icon on the taskbar and select device manager uh, from the menu that opens or you can right click on this pc uh, select manage from the menu that opens and then select device manager from the left hand menu once in device manager look for the field marked as display adapters and expand it using the little arrow on the side this should now show you all the graphics cards you have in your system my system for instance has two graphics cards the integrated intel uhd graphics and the dedicated nvidia geforce rtx 3070 graphics card it is not necessary for your system to have two graphics cards as well most average builds only have a single integrated graphics card. Take note that there is a world of difference between the performance of an integrated graphics card and a dedicated graphics card. Again, the pros of using device manager to check what graphics card you have is that it tells you if there are any driver issues or not. If there was a driver issue here, say with the dedicated graphics card, then it wouldn't have appeared here at all or would have shown a prompt saying unknown device. The cons of this method is that it doesn't tell you the rest of the details and specs of your GPU. The second method to check what graphics card you have is to use the task manager. This is also a fairly simple and a straightforward method. Task manager can also be accessed in several ways. You can press Ctrl Alt Delete or right click on the taskbar and select task manager. With the task manager open, head over to the performance tab. In the performance tab, look for the options marked as GPU on the left hand menu. You can see here that my task manager shows GPU 0 which refers to the integrated Intel UHD graphics and GPU 1 which refers to the NVIDIA RTX 3070 dedicated graphics card. The best part about this method is that not only does it tell you some details regarding the model name of your graphics card as well as the total memory the GPU uses it also tells you how much of the GPU is being utilized this can give you an insight into whether your GPU is being bottlenecked or not the final the most comprehensive and my favorite method to check what graphics card you have is to use a free utility called GPU Z by Tech Power Up for this head over to the official website of the utility download it and install it I have provided the download link for this utility in the description below once installed run the utility this utility gives you by far the most details regarding your graphics cards for free if you truly want to know what graphics card you have and its specs and technical details this is the free utility to use for starters you can see here that it tells me several details regarding the graphics card i have such as the model name of the graphics card the pci bus it uses shaders directx version support the memory size as well as the gpu clock speed memory speed etc i can also switch between the dedicated and the integrated gpu using the drop down menu on the bottom left below another great aspect about this utility is the sensors tab you can use this tab to check the max gpu clock voltage and even temperature the gpu reached in a certain time frame this can be used to see if your GPU is overheating or not, which is of particular interest to gamers and overclockers. 
So that concludes my favorite three methods for checking what graphics card you have in your PC. I hope you have learned something of value from this video. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Every like and a subscribe goes a long way in supporting my new channel, so I would appreciate the gesture.